Hi guys! My name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Nearpod to engage your students in online learning. Nearpod is an instructional platform that allows students to interact with assignments both on their phone and PC, take part in formative assessment, and complete their work online. It contains thousands of pre-built lessons on a multitude of topics, allows you to import your own lessons, and integrates with Google Classroom. With all these features, it is a little complicated to use in the start, but today I'll walk you through it so you're set up and you can do it as simply as possible. Quick note, on my channel there's a bunch of teaching tutorials and some lighthearted comedy skits. If that appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. Now let's get to the tutorial. This is Nearpod for teachers right now. Begin by going to nearpod.com. Normally you would, for the first time, sign up, but I'm going to log in with my Google email because I already have an account. Here you're going to see your library. What this contains is all the lessons that you have uploaded or added to your library from Nearpods database. So I'm going to click on Nearpods lesson library at this point. What this allows me to do is search lessons based on my interests, based on what I want to teach, VR lessons, lessons based on state standards. It's really staggering how much amount of content they have. Or I can always just search and go to Martin Luther King, which is what my students are studying. Now I will see limitless lessons on just this topic. It's amazing how much the depth there is. So after going through the full list, I will find lessons from virtually every subject, social studies. But since I want the focus to be more on the literature, I click on English language arts. And there I see English language arts lessons for Martin Luther King Jr. Once I find a lesson that I'm interested in, or a group of lessons as you can see, I'm going to click on any one of them. Clicking on the lesson allows me to preview all the activities. Once I'm satisfied with the activities, on the bottom right I'll click on Add to My Library. This will add the lesson to my library for easy assigning. My first option is I can create a live lesson, and the second is I can create student paste. Let's begin with the live. Starting the live lesson generates a link that you can share with your students via email, social media, direct link, Google Classroom, or even Microsoft Teams. Once a student receives that link, they can go to nearpod.com student and just join in. They'll be asked for their name. And once they join in, it'll ask them to wait while we start the lesson. Back on the teacher end, once we start the lesson, anything the students do is immediately visible to us, whether it's marking up text, creating short responses, or even paragraphs. Whatever a student now types, we can see in real time. We can even go to the Add Activity button and add in new activities in case we feel student attention wavering. I like to do this where I add some kind of external product that students can actually be interested in, such as web content, perhaps a YouTube video in this case, um, explaining further Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s message. Once I add the clip, students can immediately see it right in their Nearpod. And in live time, they can start editing their answers. At that point, we can close the activity for the live session. But let's say a student is not able to attend live sessions. 
what can we do at that point? Well, the solution there is actually pretty simple as well. We can create student paste lessons. Go to the same place on top of the lesson and this time click student paste. This will give you a separate code. And once again, students can go to join.nearpod.com and they can join this lesson. You can set the due date for how many days they have to join and complete it because they can't do it live. And then you can share this code with students however you wish. In Google Classroom, it will even let you pick the specific class you wish to share it with. So go ahead and pick the class you wish to share Nearpod with. You can post it as an assignment in Google Classroom so they see when it's actually due and there aren't any challenges with regards to accessing it. Once again, this time students can join and they can do this at their own pace and add answers even if they could not understand or could not attend the live session, they can attend this. Now, back on the main screen, teachers might wonder, how do I find out what student did it and what are the actual answers? Well, on the left side, there's going to be a button called Reports. And when you click on each individual lesson, it is going to show you the options for both the live lessons and the student lessons that you've conducted with different sections. So anyone who entered a code goes into that specific code section. So you can create different codes for different classes and it will mark them separately. I name my sessions as live session and home session and then I can see each step of the way how much each student did. Obviously for those things that I haven't done I won't have any data but for the things that students have done it will show you what percentage they completed, what was their overall participation, did they actually draw something and you can even click on it and actually see the individual annotations that they were required for. You can also download these as a CSV or PDF if you wish, and you can see everything that your students did or did not do to follow up with them for formative feedback. And that is, in a very simple level, Nearpod. So that's it. Hope you found this tutorial on Nearpod helpful. If you liked the video, consider hitting the like button, and if videos like this appeal to your interests, consider subscribing. This is Pax Honey Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.